then the, the other thing that another skill that you need to do is you need to challenge distorted thinking. I am not loved by God is a distorted thinking. I am, I am not worthy of anybody's love is dis, or anybody's respect is distorted thinking. You need to challenge it. Challenge that thinking. How do you, how do I challenge that I'm not loved by God? Which is a lie. You challenge lies by truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this yeah. is a lie, you challenge it by truth. <laughs> and so where's truth? It's in the word. Go back. I, I, I told a, a person I was counseling, I think it was a couple of months ago. I said, I want you to research all of the scriptures that, that tells you God loves you and he's for you. He's not against you. She said, what's the point? I said, just do it. You're not, I'm not telling you to read a novel, magazine, newspaper. I'm telling you to get into the living word of God. Get into the word and read the scriptures and begin to research it and apply it to yourself. Don't read it as a third party that it's for, that it's for everybody. Read it as though it's for you, that it was written for you. And she began to research it. At first, nothing happened. She just researched it. She said, well, I researched it. There was this many scriptures that told me that he loved me. I said, okay, how do you feel? She said, nothing. I still feel that I'm not deserving of his love. And I said, okay, now read it out loud. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of God. Read it out loud and again and again and again. She said, how long? I said, well, as long as you can. And she said, she did it for 14 days. And at the end or really right after, no, not the end, right after the 14 days, something happened to her. Something clicked in her mind and in her soul, and it began to be absorbed. There was a situation in her life where a relative was just um, making her feel unworthy and unloved and rejected all over again, the relative that was part of her childhood growing up. But this time she took a stand, put a boundary, and she did not believe anything that, that was said to her. Instead, she began to believe what she was stockpiling in her mind. Mm. Every word of God is like a hand grenade against the enemy so if the enemy comes to you with a lie you take the weapon remember that god talks about weapons of our warfare well one of the weapons is the word of god the promises of god i love you i've loved you eternally i will love you till the end of time i've written your name in the palm of my hands i've loved you with an everlasting love i will never leave you or forsake you i will be with you and in you and so all of these scriptures that god is with us and he loves us and he doesn't reject us that we're not some cast off she had it in her mind she had memorized it like a sunday school child she had memorized it and so when the enemy came at her with a lie that she's rejected, unloved, unwanted. She could take that thing from her mind like a hand grenade, pull out the pin and throw it at the enemy. And that was it. It was gone. That thought was erratic. And she kept doing it and doing it. And now she has those boundaries not to hang out. Listeners, please don't be hanging out too much with people that constantly are negative and tell you things that are anti-God and anti-scripture and make you feel worse and make you feel rejected. I don't care if they are related to you. Mm. That, that, you know, if, if, yeah. if you maybe you, if after five minutes in their company, you can make excuses and leave. It's all right. Yeah. But you need to protect yourself. So um, these are some of the skills uh, needed for people that had malfunction or dysfunction in their bonding in the past is don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Challenge your distorted thinking by going into the word and also uh, not only going into the word, but write, write your distorted thinking down. Mm -hmm. I am a reject or uh, actually this person does not love me. And then expose that lie to the truth. Write down facts that that actually um, prove your distorted thinking. Write down facts that prove it. Okay, well, okay, well, I can prove why I feel I am a reject. Well, let me tell you, I've got three reasons why I'm a reject. All right, now disprove it. Disprove that thought. Yeah. Disprove it. So you've written down proof. You've written down disproof of that. Of I call it a hot thought. The thought that messes with your mind most of all. A hot thought. Disprove it. And after that, this is cognitive restructuring, actually. Yeah, I think you, you, you covered this uh, uh, in in more detail. If people want to learn more about it, you covered it in the one where we uh, talked about uh, mental health. I think we we yes. talked about that because you talked about writing down a list and then yes. challenging each each item on that list. Uh, I did cover either. it, didn't I? Oh, I thank God I did. Thank you, Greg, yeah. for remembering. Is that episode 77? 77. Or? Yeah, that's right. 
77, yeah. How yeah. to be mentally healthy. That's See, right, I, yeah. my goodness, I'm surprised I remembered my memory. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and so, yeah, episode 77 covered it, yeah. you know, and expose the truth, blast open the lies of the enemy by proving and then disproving and then come to a conclusion. What is, right. Where is your thought really at? 